chopping up like intestines and bits there. I'm not really sure what we're eating. Oh. Cow head? I don't actually know what's happening anymore. After loading our UK van onto a ship in the Japanese port of Fukuoka, we spent the next six hours on the boat, excited to be heading to a new country. I can't believe our time in Japan is done. But our arrival into the Korean city of Busan proved to be a little bit more complicated than we'd anticipated. They're separating us now. We eventually found each other, found and with the help of a young Korean guide we'd met on the boat, we completed the complicated process of getting our van approved and headed through the dark city streets to find somewhere to park up for the night. We felt relieved and excited to see what our first 24 hours in Korea would hold, but we never for a moment expected it to turn out quite as it did. Every person is a new door to a different world. Welcome to Korea. It's our first full day here in Korea. We're waking up in Busan in this park that we managed to find. And we just woke up to an emergency alert on uh, Marianne and my phones. It says currently most of the country has a heat wave. Uh, please take care of your health by avoiding death from heat related diseases in rural areas, refraining from outdoor activities, drink enough water and resting. Wow, yeah, and it is hot. But today it's the new country, so we need to see what van life is like here. We need to go and try and find new tires. We need to try and see if we can fill up with LPG and to just get used to life here in Korea. So we've got a busy day ahead of us and it's uh, about 35 degrees. And as you can hear from the noise, it feels like we're pretty well in the tropics. So one thing we have to do before we leave, this is the uh, proof of our insurance. Right, let's hit the road. On the way out, we got stopped by a guy who was in the caravan next to us. He'd spotted the UK number plate and asked us where we were going. We explained we were going to look for new tires. And before we knew it, he offered to help us get them. Oh, you want she to take you? Okay. Okay. So randomly now we're following a guy that we've just seen in the car park to a mission and tire shop. I'm loving career already. <laughs> there, he, there he is. And it's like, the, it's like the young guy we met on the ship yesterday. He was like, do you want me to phone the Michelin shop? I can try and do a deal for you on yeah. tire. Everyone's like super friendly. So yeah, first impressions of van life here in Korea is everyone's going to help you. This is wild. How does he know where to go? He must he's be local. local. Well, that, that or he's an axe murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Don't follow random strangers in strange countries. <laughs> Listen, this is absolutely amazing. I can't believe that our luck. He said on Google Translate, he doesn't speak a word of uh, English. So we were using uh, we were using Google Translate. Bless him, he's actually driving with his hazard lights on to show everybody he's escorting, he's escorting us. I feel like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously just can't believe how nice that is. What a welcome to a new country. You've been following us through uh, the US and Japan. We had trouble getting new tires. We couldn't get tires in the US because they only had 16 inch tires. And in Japan, the only tires we could get that fitted Trudy, our van, were normal road tires. And we do a lot of uh, crazy roads sometimes and we travel in ice and winter and the journey is a bit unpredictable. So we need all weather, all terrain tires. So uh, fingers crossed, if we can get them anywhere, I think we'll be able to get them here. So Google Maps doesn't really work very well in South Korea. So we looked online, we've managed to download an app called Nava app um, and it works really, really well. It looks like Google, gives you great directions and views of the lanes and stuff. So if you do come to South Korea, I recommend getting that app. Okay, we nearly lost him. We have lost him. Oh, he's pulled over there. Because 
It seems you can turn on a red light here, which we didn't realise. <laughs> Either that or he's a complete lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless him. Look, there he is, waiting. And there you go. We are here. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. We explained to Juan which tyres we needed, and then he discussed it with the staff. They didn't have the same tyres in stock, but said that if we'd wait, they would get them from another shop. <laughs> oh! Thank you. They've given us free ice cream. Very hard, they give us ice cream. They can see Ice cream in hand, we headed into an aircon room, and while we waited, we spent time getting to know our new friend. So he's just given us a... Wait, what is this? Rice. Rice drink. Rice drink. Rice drink. Uh, okay, let's try it. We'll open Chicken. one. Oh, it's good. Very sweet. Korea seems to be the friendliest place that we've been to. Bearing in mind, we haven't even been here for 24 hours and people have taken us in twice. Okay, the tyres have arrived. That's amazing! Huh? It's got the mountain and the snowflake. It's exactly... Good job! High five! <laughs> Thank you! Yay! Thank you. Very good! <laughs> amazing! Trudy was immediately driven into the workshop and they wasted no time getting the new tyres fitted. What an unbelievable first morning here in Korea. Judy has new tyres, look at that. And we put the best one on the back as the spare. And it's looking, she's looking amazing. We did it. Thank you very much for tyre bank here. Amazing. And what would we have done without these guys' help? And it cost £485 for four tyres. He got us a big discount. They really looked after us. It's so much cheaper than we would have paid it everywhere else. So I'm very, very thankful. And a perfect first impression of van life here in South Korea. Isn't it funny how your day goes? I never expected today to go like this. But now uh, <laughs> he's told us to follow him to get LPG. I'm not sure where we're going. Is he going to let you go? Okay. So, when we're in Japan, we couldn't get LPG, which means we couldn't use our fridge. So, uh, yeah, it's clear. So, we're going to attempt to uh, get LPG here in Korea. Ridiculous. He's invited us to a barbecue lunch at the campsite near where we were parked yesterday. So, uh, looks like we're having a we're having a Korean barbie tonight. Huh? Our kids did tell us that Korean barbecue is one of the best barbecues. So, let's see. Ah, South Korean LPG. Okay, he's talking to them to see if he can fill us up. Yeah, LPG. LPG. I showed them our LPG tank and the various connections that we had, but they unfortunately couldn't fill us up. So we couldn't get LPG. Um, the connections were wrong and the lines weren't long enough. Oh, she's bringing us water. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> they brought us ice oh, water. Ice water. Uh, oh. That's the lady from the uh, LPG shop. So nice. So now the guy is saying, we have to go for lunch. Follow me, we have to go for lunch. So we're going for lunch. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's really pretty driving into Busan. We got these tree lined streets here. Do you know, for us, <laughs> When we enter a new country, we really have no idea of what to expect. Suddenly the street signs are different, sometimes we're driving on the different side of the road. But this is not at all what I expected Korea no. to be like. It's definitely a whirlwind first day. We haven't even been here for 24 hours yet. What happened? Such a, such a random day. I have no idea what's happening, but I love it. But yeah, it's a, it's a lovely town. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's so far the driving and everything is good. 
and definitely the hospitality is on, on another level. It really is. Look, they're selling veg on the side of the road there. We're just driving around, I think we're trying to find somewhere to park. We did look online at uh, hotels and Airbnbs to see if there was somewhere we could book for a few days to get acclimatized and uh, catch up with work when we're not uh, we're not filming. But all of the uh, hotels have underground car parks, um, which truly doesn't fit in. And also, when we were looking online, all of the um, supermarkets generally have rooftop or underground car parks, so we can't get Trudy in. So uh, I think that's one of the challenges driving around that we, that we may find. Yeah, I think it's complicated, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to get in there two meters one. Oh, he's saying, hold on, come. Hold on, come, which one do I do? I don't know, he's, he's talking to the guy in front. He's just talking to a random guy about parking. That's so nice. You got the car to, you got the car to move. So we're parking here. You park here, we here, okay? Okay, okay, okay. He's going in the car park. He's gonna move in a little bit. And we're just, uh, we're parking here, which is blocking their view of pulling out. Is that actually all right? Um, he's a local, so I'm assuming it's all right. Oh, we're going to Yang Sang Nabu Market. <laughs> I don't actually know what's happening anymore. <laughs> we're following. We're absolutely laughing our socks off. Chris and our new friend have just gone to the toilet together. We are just so overwhelmed and laughing at how just so friendly everyone is here and so how helpful. Korea, you are impressive. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> this is amazing. We got a market here, look. All the vegetables. I love this. This is amazing. Wow. This is a beautiful market. Chickens? Fish. Got little uh, little food stands. Roast pork. Oh, that smells amazing. Bibin, bibin, Ah, okay. Yeah. Hi, folks. Super. Noodle that? shop. Noodle Hi. shop. Okay, okay. perfect. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Our first meal in Korea. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> kimchi. Kimchi, okay. Kimchi. Oh, it's kimchi. Kimchi, no, kimchi. Kimchi. Okay. Kimchi. Oh, it's good. Is it spicy? No, it's good. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, for you, no. Oh, okay. No. It's too hot. Yeah. It's spicy. For me, it's good. Good job. It tastes like a chilled cabbage, almost. It's like, uh, it tastes like sweet, chi sweet chili it? sauce, but hot. It's a bit like sambal. It's like Malay sambal. Is it? It's got that kind of taste. You love that. I love it. What is this? What is this called? Kimpa. Look at that. It's got cucumbers and different vegetables. Marianne's eating the cucumber for me because I don't like cucumber. Mmm. That's beautiful. It's pork. Pork soup. Uh, <laughs> Make a big belly. Pork. <laughs> Not really sure what we're eating, but it looks good. Noodles with some onions and some meat. Soup. Oh, drink the salt. Drink, drink, the, drink soup. the soup. Let's try the soup. Oh, lovely. Really like meaty and, oh, it's delicious, rich. Mm. It's 
just such a warm, comforting food. Even on a hot day, or it's sat in the aircon, it's delicious. Mix it. Mix, mix it, it mix it up. No, I'm gonna mix it. So you gotta mix it up. There's egg, okay. there's cucumber, there's seaweed, there's cabbage. Hot sauce. Hot sauce? Hot oh, sauce. okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it really hot? Hot. Is it very hot? It's hot. It's very oh, good. Dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So after that delicious lunch, I think we're going to have a little walk around the market. Oh, there's a lot of fish. This is an amazing market. Look, there's different food stalls. Oh, pork. Mmm, that looks nice. It's always so interesting walking around a market. Um, our first Korean market, and absolutely fascinating. We haven't really been to a market like this for ages. And no. I just love it. There's something authentic. Absolutely, I love, I just love it. As I always say, it gives you that taste of local life. I just noticed they're chopping up like intestines and bits there. And he said it's pork intestines. And pork didn't, didn't recommend that we try it. What do you reckon, love? It's good to be back in a market. Cow, cow, cow head. Oh. Cow head? What? Cheeks? Cheeks. Oh, head, uh. Cow's head. Interesting. Cow head. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. Pork. Oh, pork intestines. They got mist coming down to keep you cool. Shrimps. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're back in the van. Oh my God, how hot is that? Very hot. In fact, we stopped for an iced coffee because it was so hot. I was expecting to see a ticket on the windscreen, but we haven't got one. We're off again. <laughs> He's uh, insisting he takes us to the campsite tonight. And he's insisting he won't let us buy any drinks or any food or anything for tonight. He said it's Korean hospitality. So uh, we're just going with the flow. But what a great first day. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is his truck because he's a lorry driver. Good job. It's, it's big. Big, big, big truck. <laughs> So our friend's back again. He's just taking his caravan into the campsite. He's given us a whole case of water here. Listen to my voice. My voice is actually going today. We accidentally left the tool to take off the back tire at the tire shop um, when they did the tires today. So um, our friend has just given them a call and uh, we'll see. We'll either have to go there, go there tomorrow or buy a new one, but I'm sure it'll be good. Are you losing your voice? I am really Is there losing be my voice. Silence in the van. Oh, Marianne, enjoy it while it lasts because it won't last long. <clears throat> so much. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. I cannot believe the guy drove from the tire shop. It's like 20 minutes away yeah. to bring that. Because we forgot it. Korean hospitality again. It's mm. unbelievable. It's madness. Unbelievable. Our friend just came and said, come, come to the campsite, following me, follow me, follow me. So he's, he's walking here. We did offer him a lift, but he just started walking. <laughs> the first day in Korea is nuts, isn't it? The Good first, nuts. First 24 hours <clears throat> of van life Korea. Apparently he's arranged for us to go, to come in, to stay with him for the night for a barbecue. We're setting up camp here, we're going to have a bit of a barbie and uh, we're just going to hang out and chill with our new friend, which is lovely. we got the whole barbecue thing going. He's bought drinks, beers, food. 
and his son's joined us. <laughs> Barbecue time, look, you got Marianne's got chicken skewers. I just want to say, how big is this bottle of Tabasco? This is the biggest bottle of Tabasco I've ever seen in my life. Okay, we've got some barbecued pork, some scallops, kimchi. You make the kimchi. Oh, my kimchi. Your kimchi. Oh, it's nice. And huge mushrooms. Massive mushrooms. So you want to uh, round up your spare ribs, you get a blowtorch out. <laughs> What do you reckon of that, love? I'm thinking we need a blowtorch. Good job. The head of the volunteer group is coming. No. Calling a chicken. So he was just saying that he volunteers at a, a place with disabilities and um, provides them chicken. He cooks chicken for them. Um, on a voluntary basis and the, the head of the organization apparently is bringing us some chicken tonight that's incredibly generous yeah they go and volunteer for one weekend a month uh, to help out and I'm not surprised at all because the generosity and the friendship that he's giving us is crazy for no reason at all is just crazy just because he's a lovely guy leader of the service organization <laughs> Both of them are uglier than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so now the chicken man has turned up. <laughs> we... The best fried chicken in Korea. Oh my goodness, look, look at, at this. Woki. No, the Woki. Korea food. Best food. What, what is it? Best. Hot. Hot. Spicy. <laughs> it's made of rice. Rice and fish. Rice and fish. No, 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 no. Rice. It's like a chewy pasta almost. We had a good night's sleep here at this campsite. My voice is still very husky this morning, so you're going to have to forgive me. No, use it here. Talk Korean. Ultu Kanjelgot, Paking, Tungyung Pada Kut. We got the map of Korea out and spent the next hour tapping one's brain and learning about some great off the beaten track places to visit whilst we're here. So Juan is giving us lots of uh, good tips of places to go around Korea and you just can't wow. beat local knowledge. That's beautiful. Gangwon-do, awesome. Okay, we're leaving the campsite. It's been absolutely fantastic and uh, we're so pleased that we've managed to get loads of places to, uh, to see in Korea. And uh, before we depart company, a couple of things we're going to do and uh, he's going to take us to try and get LPG again for Trudy. So we'll give it one last shot to see if it is possible here in Korea. So uh, we've had, I think, three or four warnings this morning. Um, and fortunately, Wong's actually translated it for us um, to say it's heat. And as you can tell from the sweat dripping off us, um, it's hot. We saw on the news that people have been hospitalized due to the heat and this is why every 10, 20 minutes, people, we keep getting these warnings. It's got a two metre warning sign, but uh, it's definitely higher than two metres, so we're okay. That side. I think it will, you know. I think it's the right connection. Yeah, it looks, looks good, I don't know. No. This one goes into the caravan. Yeah. This one? No. no. This one? Huh? No, that one. No. No. This one? No. No. Yes. No. One, thank you so much, my friend. We will see you when we come back. Luxury tour. 
Good. Yes. Yeah. Very, good. Very good. Very good. We look. One pair. One, one pack. pack. Mr. One. Mr. One, one pair. <laughs> oh, we love you. Thank you. Thank you. We see you again see you soon. Thank Bye. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> So we've literally just stopped off at our first gas station here in Korea and you won't believe it. The lady actually gave us a whole bag of apple juice sachets. She was like, and water. And water. But it didn't stop there. She came back with more gifts. Can you turn it on? Thank you. Oh, tissue. No, no more. more. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank you. I love you, uh, you too. Thank, thank you. you very much. I want to cry. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, that is just the nicest. Oh, I'm just so sweet. My goodness. Shoda, what a lovely lady. How lovely is that? As we headed off, we couldn't believe how kind and friendly the Korean people have been to us. I mean, seriously, it's been unbelievable. There's not many countries in the world that would give you a welcome like this. And if the first 24 hours is anything to go by, I have a feeling that we're in for a seriously amazing trip around Korea. So make sure you subscribe to come with us and we'll see you next week.